Hello, so I thought I would record a vlog today and just show you a day in my life. Um, I was going to vlog a week but Monday and Tuesday I was doing just agency work and then yesterday Mitch and I went to Brighton and I didn't film anything at all. I barely took any photos but um, we had a really nice time. So today's a bit more chill. Um, this morning I'm working on my business so I'm doing a bit of a plan and I've got an accountability call with Chloe and Sam and I'll pop their links down below. And then this afternoon I've got some client work so um, that's different to the agency work because they're like my own clients whereas the agency is with my old place. Um, so yeah I'll take you along for the day and check in. So I just had the Zoom call with Sam and Chloe and that was really lovely. Really nice to just chat and talk about our business stuff and um, give some accountability to some of our goals. So so now I'm just packing some Etsy orders and I usually do that around lunchtime. Um, I've opened, reopened up my shop for international shipping. So today I've got an order going to West Virginia in the US so I need to go to the post office rather than just walk to the post box. So that's where we're going to now. just come back from the post office and we popped into Asda to get a few bits like milk and stuff so we decided to treat ourselves to a meal deal so we're just gonna have lunch now and I've also got a cookie which we got yesterday from Brighton which is a Ben's cookie um, they're in London and Brighton I'm not sure where else they are but they do really nice cookies and we got a box of seven so we've got quite a few different flavors to try out and um, this one's the triple chocolate but it looks really good So it's been quite a chilled morning and I actually need to do some work now so I'm going to get cracking on some client work. I need to edit a pattern um, so I'll be able to show you that. Um, it's part of a rebrand which is like a lot, um, um, a much bigger project which I should be able to share with you soon and then I'm also going to do a few sketches for a, another project which is coming up um, and I want to do the concept sketches for that to send over to the client by tomorrow. So um, yeah, I'll show you the how I work with the cloud pattern. I don't think I'll be able to show you much more of that one, um, just because it's still under wraps. So I'll just show you what I can. I'm just doing this in Photoshop and using a vector cloud, which I designed in Illustrator and dropping that in, and then changing the size of it to create quite a dynamic pattern. I just arranged that on the artboard. So then I split the artboard into four using the guides and I'll just rearrange the quarters to make it into a repeating pattern and there's lots of tutorials online for this um, and I'm absolutely not showing you very well here but it really helps to create a repeating pattern so if I use this pattern on other elements of the rebrand um, or like bigger document sizes it just saves time because I don't have to create the whole pattern again um, it's completely seamless so it will fit to whatever size I need it for and the vector element of it definitely helps as well so I can scale it up or down. And now I'm moving on to the concept sketches for the Instagram graphic and I'm going to talk about these in a moment but I'm just doing some thumbnail sketches and then I'll pick a couple of those and refine that a bit more into a larger sketch but um, yeah like I said I'm going to chat you through that now. So I've just done some sketches for the um, Instagram graphic which I'm doing for someone. Um, I'm just going to refine them so I usually do what you saw first with these ones which are just the really quick thumbnail sketches and the client doesn't see these, like these are just for me just to work out layout and um, what needs to go on there. And then I take the larger one which I only showed you part of because I didn't want to show you a lot of the content. Um, but that's where I usually take one of the thumbnail 
sketches. Um, so I usually do show the client two options, or I will for this one, and I'll um, take my two favourite thumbnails and then work that into a bit more of a detailed sketch. Um, the one that I've created is still a bit messy, so I'm going to neaten it up again. I might take it on my iPad and do it there, and then they'll be ready to send to the client. Then they'll decide which one they want. I'll show them a couple of colour options as well. Um, and then I'll create the final thing. So I thought that would just be interesting to show you some of my process. Um, it's 20 past 5 now, so I'm kind of rounding off for the day. I've just written the Instagram caption for my post tonight. Um, actually, I'll show you what I've been doing lately. I have got one of these. So this is my June um, content calendar. So I'm trying to be really organized. Um, I've got three content pillars now for my content. So I've got my business to business offering, my personal story and my inspiration and motivation. So those are like my three main content pillars and all of the, sorry about the noise. It's really hot here today, so I've got the windows open. Um, but yeah, those are, there's a siren now. <clears throat> so yes, those are my three content pillars. I've got them colour co coded, so I don't want to do like too much of one and not enough of the other. I want to make sure it's really like spaced out because one of the things which I've been struggling with Instagram in general for a long time is that I have like a lot of different um, like audiences in my one audience. So I've got like the people who follow me for scrapbooking and journaling, the people who follow me for business stuff, and then people who follow me for um, painting and creativity stuff. And I've always been a bit at odds of like, you know, someone who wants to see the journals, won't want to see the business stuff. Um, and it's kind of like, I am a business, so I still want to include that and I need to market myself and make some money. But I also love showing like painting and having that community on Instagram and I didn't want to split it and I kind of I spoke to a business coach and um like that definitely helped like to help me grow my business going forward now I'm full-time anyway but it definitely helped me decide that you know I can do all three as long as I've got a bit for um like something for everyone and I do it in a way that is even so you know, I'm not just completely talking about my business all the time. I'm not just going to go sell, sell, sell. So um, by doing it this way, it just definitely helps me um, keep on track and um, like share it all consistently and evenly. So I've just done the Instagram post for tonight. I'm actually not, I want to be really scheduled far in advance for my content and I'm not there yet. So I really want to like have a content creation day. Uh, a lot of the times like I have to push it for like agency work or client work obviously um, but I definitely need to make more time for that because it makes me feel so much better and I think I've talked about this before I think I've shown you how I've done this before but it's changed again now because it's changed to this but um, it makes me feel so much better when I'm planning in advance and scheduled and stuff it just takes takes a weight off because um, content creation and like marketing s stuff takes up a lot of time and it's just another thing in the back of your head you have to sort. So I'm hoping to be on top of that soon. But yes, so I'm glad that's done tonight. So I can just, I usually post like between half seven and eight or half seven and half eight. And I also get all the hashtags ready and then the captions um, written already in Google Docs. And then I'll just open it up and then copy it over and post the thing, the image on Instagram. So yeah, if you're interested in that, then let me know and I can talk through a bit more. Like I said, I have done this in a previous vlog, but it has all changed now. And this seems to be working with me. I've got like the different color um, post-its now. I've actually got my three content pillars sorted and they're just on sticky notes so I can move them about as and when it works for me. Um, but ideally I'll have the content ready to go and I'll just swap and post whenever it works for me. And yeah, I'm upping my Instagram to three times a week now because I'm full time and um, Instagram's a really like big part of marketing my business. The next thing I want to sort out is my email list um, so then it's not completely reliant on Instagram, but that's the thing for another day. So 
yeah, let me know if you are interested and want to learn more about how I do my content creation and like how I brainstorm all my ideas and things. Um, I think I'm going to go make some dinner and sign it off here. So I think this has been quite a, a short vlog. Um, I do struggle talking to the camera a bit and I definitely don't feel very comfortable or confident um, talking to you like this. Uh, but I hope it's been okay and interesting and it's tricky to show you like a day in my life because a lot of the time I'm just sat at the computer. So like especially on agency days that would be really boring for you to watch. Uh, today was a bit more of a mix so I thought I would film it but so much of my work is done on the computer and there's only so much. I can show you so yeah let me know if this was interesting or not hopefully I'll be able to share some bits I can actually show you soon um, maybe I'll show you like actual content creation when I'm making the stuff for my Instagram because that's for me so I can show you that but yeah I hope you enjoyed the vlog anyway uh, let me know what you thought down below and I'll see you next Sunday for another video see you later